All right, let's uh, create a list. I'm going to call the list y. y equals square and a square. It's an empty list. The next thing I'm going to do is fill that list up with values. All right, here we go. I'll do it within a loop. For x, variable x, in a range of values. What range of values? Well, I want x to start off with value 0. I want it to end up with 9. Well, that's not, it won't end up with 9. It'll be 9 minus 1. That's the maximum range, range value. So you subtract 1 from it all the time. So 0 to 9 minus 1, that's 0 to 8. And um, skip every two values. That sounds good. And I end it with a colon. Like so. And now... We backspace one, two, three, four, and now I don't want to print it out. I want, I want to take that Y list and say, Mr. Y, yes, I want you to append onto yourself, onto your empty list right now, whatever value is in X. And I hit enter once, twice. Now, what just happened here? Well, I created an empty list, and then I said, for x in the range 0, 9, 2. What does that mean? Well, x has to start off with the value 0. And so it takes the 0. Okay, done here. Jumps to the next line. Mr. Y, yes, append the value that's in x to yourself. So it takes the 0 and appends it right into there. Wow, so a zero goes in there. Oh, I can't put a zero in there right now for demonstration purposes, but it's there. Okay. Oh, I could do it down here. It's meaningless, but I'll do it for demo purposes only. So now there's a zero in here. Now what does he do? Now he jumps up over here again to the x, to the 4x line. And he goes, I was a zero. Now I'm going to be one. Oh, no, I got to add two to myself. So zero plus two is two. So he jumps down here. Mr. Y, would you append the value in X to yourself? That's a two. So he jumps over to Y and he now appends two onto the end of himself. Well, that's great. He jumps back up to the top because he's not done yet. He hasn't reached a limit. He hasn't passed it. And he says, for x in the range, oh, I'm 2 now. i got to add 2 more onto myself. That's 4. I haven't passed the limit yet, so I'm good. Jumps down here. Mr. Y, would you append the value 4 onto yourself? So he goes and adds a 4 onto himself. Wow, this is incredible. And he jumps back up here to the 4 line for x in the range. Zero nine two. He's four now. He adds two onto himself. That's six. Okay, that didn't pass the limit. Six. So now, Mr. Y, append the value of six onto yourself. So he jumps over to Y, and he adds a six onto Y. Wow, this is getting real good. Now, he jumps back up to this line. He says, I'm six. Add two to myself, I'm eight. Did I pass the limit? No, I haven't passed the limit yet. Jumps down here, Mr. Y, yes, append the value eight onto yourself. And he does, he puts an eight in there. Then he jumps back up here and he says, for X in the range, zero, nine, two, I'm eight now, let me add two. That gives me ten. Oops, I've just passed the limit of nine minus one, that's eight. I've passed it by two, I cannot proceed any further. Can't do it. That's it. I'm done. And he jumps down here, and he closes this off. Like so. And that is what Y looks like right now. Okay, you say to me, prove it. Okay. Oh, well, let's prove it right now. Key in the value Y, and hit enter. Dollars to dollars, I get 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. Here we go. Voila. There it is. This is George Wall. Please share and rate this video. That means click on the like button. And I wish you lots of luck. Bye-bye now.